We have a series of public agencies funded with public funds that coexist in the same building and really don't connect at all, which is the core underlying problem of all of city government. There are a lot of things that have to be done, but I think that the next mayor has to set an agenda, has to say these are the top five or ten things that he's going to work on during his administration and change so that we can all get behind them. When you get down to the small and the mid-size level, those developers, we have some concern with the reception that they receive when they're down at LNI and that can alienate them from the process. There are a lot of other agencies in addition to LNI that you have to come before and by the time you're done getting something as simplistic as a sign approved, uh, you may have had to go before six or seven different agencies to get that approval. There's no reason why it has to be so complicated and bureaucratic. All of this uh, creates uh, roadblocks and uh, often you don't see who didn't come because they're not here. Right. All you know is that when you put a bid out or whatever you get a very narrow uh, response because an awful lot of people just don't want to deal with this city. That's important. Part of the reason that we felt we needed to do our own plan was that there wasn't currently a plan in place for our community. So um, empowering the Planning Commission so that they can actually enforce a lot of what's being done with those plans is important. The Planning Commission should be reviewing the development changes that occur in the city in the first instance and making these interpretive decisions that LNI is currently making. LNI should have its job reduced in terms of scope it has to improve upon its training. I absolutely agree that we need a vision for the entire city. I think we need a vision for, for neighborhoods. Where do neighborhoods fit into the overall economy of the city? But you don't get a response necessarily when you submit a, a complaint and you don't have a tracking system. That's what we need. Not expensive, but that would help a lot. They do it in Baltimore. I think they do it in other cities. What it does is, is certainly create some kind of responsiveness from government. It, it starts at the top. You must have this vision. You must have a business plan. You need to get buy-in to that business plan at any level. And if you do all of that, I think all the things we talked about will, will happen.